People have been requesting for like a year that I sit down and watch RRR. Problem is, thing's like three hours long. It's a Tollywood film, which I'm not familiar with. And I just don't want to dedicate that much time to something I might inevitably be disappointed with. But people kept prodding and pushing and pricking. And eventually someone stepped up and said, you know what, I'm gonna pay this guy to review this film. And really, we could have just saved so much time and headache and started there. Because I'm nothing if not a complete sellout. Let's talk RRR. I was joking about being a sellout, but not about someone paying me to review this. Special shout out to Greg C over on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. Gregory, uh, booby, you're a hero right now. He became a Mithril member on Patreon, which is only 30 bucks a month, and you can cancel at any time, and you are guaranteed locked into a movie which I have to review and shout you out. I don't have to like it though. I do not have to like it. I can crap all over your favorite film, so tread lightly. That said, I did like RRR. RRR. It's not a movie you can say fast. I liked RRR. RRR. Right out of the gates, I want to say this reminded me of a film I absolutely love called Kung Fu Hustle. Came out like over a decade ago. Really fun, slapsticky film with over the top effects, dramatic action. This is more serious than Kung Fu Hustle, and um, I dig it. I dig it quite a bit. This film is about friendship. It's about honor. It's about freedom. It's about love. It's about a million different things, all wrapped up in a nice little package. It's about two men coming together from opposing sides. A man of order and a man of freedom. A. Ramaraju wants nothing more than to be a special officer in the British Armed Forces. An honor that's eluded him one too many times. That's all about to change when he's presented with the opportunity to apprehend a known threat to the British, Kamaran Bahim. He's an Indian revolutionary and he's sly as a fox. He's cunning. He's not to be trifled with either. The dude can take down tigers with his bare hands, as we see in a scene fairly early on. Rama's reasons for punishing, public flogging, and all around being a dick aren't all that they seem though. Before I go any further, I should note, there are, are, are going to be spoilers in this video. The movie's been out for a while now. I'm, I'm behind the curve, per usual. Short for usual. Let's continue. We learn via flashback that he himself is a freedom fighter whose number one goal is to send guns back to his village so they can defend themselves in a way they never could previously. We're presented this history lesson via a beautiful flashback. As the film progresses, we find out that he's been working with his uncle the whole time to avenge his father's death and keep a promise he bestowed upon him when he was just a child. And might I just add, the actor Ram Charan who plays this gentleman, maybe one of the most impressive looking specimens of a man I've ever seen. Just a, a very attractive looking male. Ray Stevenson plays Scott Buxton. Guy's trash, his wife's garbage. The, the whole place, the whole British empire in this film is, is pretty much just god awful shit. The dude kind of looks and sounds like Kelsey Grammer, which makes me hating him that much more difficult because Graham is, is such a treasure. He's such a sweetheart in most films. So it was tough. It was tough to get past the Kelsey Grammer thing, but yeah, this guy sucks. The film starts in a small village, and we see these two jackasses going around with their parasol, looking at some of the locals. One of which, a young girl, they rip out of the arms of the mother and just claim as their own and take off. And this awful display is what's going to set everything in motion going forward. Behem vows to get this girl back, a sister to him, and nothing is going to stand in his way, whether beast nor public beatings, nor a man so attractive, I hate getting up in the morning anymore. These two gentlemen will eventually meet and have one of the greatest bromances ever received on film, right up there with Apollo Creed and Rocky Balboa. It even features a beautiful montage of these guys kind of skipping and frolicking across the land, having meals together, skipping rocks, and really just beefing as buds. All good things unfortunately come to an end and the same goes for these guys when they find out, hey, whoa, you're, you're working for the wrong team, bud. And then there's gonna be some action. There's gonna be some hand-to-hand. -hand. There's gonna be some gunfights. There's gonna be some animals tearing up a, a small town square party. It's epic. It's incredibly epic. As I stated from the onset, this is my first introduction to Tollywood films. And uh, I wasn't expecting some of the stuff I was gonna get. For starters, wh where did the musicals come from? 
There's dancing and singing numbers in this just out of nowhere, like I'm watching a Disney film. And I have to say, they're pretty damn good songs, pretty catchy. And the dance choreography was just a delight. Everyone's completely invested. And man, can these lead actors dance. And not just dance, but sing as well. There's a Passion of the Christ whipping section of the film where our lead is not only taking these lashes in stride, bleeding all over the place, chunks of skin ripping off, but he's singing a beautiful song on top of all this. And he's rallying the troops. He's getting these people that are watching riled up, ready to fight back and fight back. They do, baby. And there's lots of fighting. There's lots of action. The slow motion, they go all in on it. Think Zack Snyder with beautiful high res framing. Shots going slow-mo speed up, animals jumping out of cages, coming right at the camera, people doing kicks, and the other guy taking the hit and going backwards in slow-mo. It, it's lovely. But although it works incredibly well, there's also the other type of slow motion, the puzzling kind, that I'm not sure why it exists. It's my least favorite technique in film. One of my favorite trilogies of all time, Lord of the Rings even utilizes this. Peter Jackson, amazing director. But I hate shuddery slow motion, choppy slow motion. And they have a lot of that in RRR too. I find it cheesy, I find it a little campy. And while this film is both, they could have toned that down or got rid of it all together, preferably. Since this is a foreign film, you get different Netflix options for how to view it. In Netflix, they don't actually have the native language of Telugu. Instead, it's translated to Hindi with English subtitles, which is of course the best. Oddly enough, if you do English and then also turn on the English subtitles, they don't match. The way they say things is often different, I notice. So someone will say like, wow, what a nice day outside. But then the copy below reads something slightly different. It's really beautiful outside or today is a very lovely day. Just doesn't match up and makes it even more confusing. Back to the action though, this director should do a Dragon Ball Z film and I would be their day fun. Every shot is like a cinematic painting. Oftentimes the hero's kind of framed up slowly, winking at the camera, throwing something over the shoulder. Looks boss as hell. I say boss now for that one time and then never again. Well, maybe one more, we'll see. By the final act, both of these guys have gone full God tier. They're kicking dudes up in the air, and then punching them across. The guy's got a freaking bow and arrow that he puts on fire. Other dudes got a bow staff or a spear or something of that nature. And then of course the slow motion. The movie is long, could have maybe been tweaked a little bit, but honestly, there's a lot in this film that's worth telling and watching, so not too upset with the runtime. I did take two days to finish. I watched an hour and a half day one, another hour and a half the next, and it went by very nicely. So am I glad I watched RRR? You better believe it, Buster. And if you're wondering what it stands for, well, it's clever. It stands for multiple things. RRR are the initials of the lead characters. Plus it also means rise, roar, and revolt. A lot there, there's some layer there. I appreciate that. I also appreciate you, Greg, for recommending this film, G Money. Thank you very much. Thanks for being a Patreon and all those Patreons out there. Look for more of these Mithril level reviews coming out in the future. And hopefully you had some fun watching this video. If you did, I encourage you to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Take care. And since you're still here, I will end this video as I end all videos with a musical dance interpretive number. Everybody's happy and dancing at the end. Subscribe.